So my process for this particular artwork was actually pretty simple. It's a pretty straightforward one. Um, just a simple frontal view with a bit of a sexier twist to it. Um, whenever I was designing it, I was really, really referencing um, some blue archive artwork, which really definitely kind of helped with the sexiness because, oh my god, people who draw the blue archive stuff are nuts. Um, but once again, I'm drawing my OC, and the main thing I tried to focus on was getting the line art to look good and adding a bit more of the, um, what do we call it, the, the meat on the bones, I guess is a good way to put it. I focused a lot on trying to make sure the character looked a bit thicker. So for the hair, I definitely started to make um, it poofy, because Nozomi has very uh, long, big hair. And for the background, I'm yet again doing uh, some photo bashing. But we are going for darker colors whenever we make the, uh, the rendering, because it's a nighttime scene. I really tried to light up the chest, because that's the focus of the artwork, is the chest and kind of her lovingly looking at you and kind of just being like, yes, I say yes. Um, if you can like, comment, and subscribe, that would help a lot. Hit that bell. Helps out a whole lot. Now, I, I originally tried to hand draw the lace, but man, I suck at drawing lace, so I think later on I decided I was going to use a lace brush that I have, which definitely worked a lot better. Um, I made the uh, the red of the artwork a lot less uh, involved because it's more of an accent color this time, blue being the main focus. Uh, once again, I added that blue haze to the background of the character, that way she's separated from the background. The butterflies added some post-processing to make it more blue, and that's about it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this process, um, hit that like Hit the bell, subscribe, helps out a whole lot. Alright, I'll see ya. Bye!